Hello dear children, hope you all are safe and fine at your places. Today we are going to start our next lesson that is lesson 12 observing the sky. In this lesson you will learn about day and night time sky, stars, constellations, pole star and how to identify the planets and the sky. In my today's video I'll talk about daytime and nighttime sky. So let's get started. We can see the sun and sometimes even the moon during the daytime. The sun dominates the daytime sky with its brightness. During the day, the sun appears to move through the sky. It appears to rise in the east and sits in the west. Dear children, why I am saying the word appearing? Because it's not the sun which is moving, it is just appearing to move. Dear children, let's understand this by taking example of your school bus. While travelling in it, you might have seen trees going backwards, just opposite to the school bus. Are trees really moving? No. It is the school bus which is moving. Trees, they just appear to move opposite to the school bus. Same is the case with sun. It is the earth which is rotating on its axis from west to east. That's why sun appears to move from east to west. We now understand that this apparent motion of the sun for us is because of the rotation of the earth on its axis from west to east. Children, we can also sometimes see some planets like Mercury and Venus during early morning hours. These planets have therefore been named as morning stars. They are also called evening stars as they are sometimes observed during evening time also. Now children we will learn about the night time sky. We all know that moon appears as the brightest and most recognizable object in the sky at night. And in addition to the moon, stars and planets are the other celestial bodies that can be seen in the night sky. As we know that Venus is the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. But Venus is not the only planet we see in the night sky. Mars, Jupiter and Saturn are the other planets that can be seen in the night sky even with the unaided eye. The rest of the planets are very faint and can be seen only with the help of powerful telescopes. Do you know children? The planet Saturn was the first planet which was discovered by using a telescope. So dear children, this was all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.